the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are getting ready these days, like maybe this week, to, to prepare Jesus to send the Holy Spirit and, and our life related with the Holy Spirit. That is very important. And Holy Spirit is a powerful God. You know, I, I strongly believe that you, you all are inspired by the Holy Spirit and you are here for the, for the Holy Eucharist. That is what Jesus told his disciples. Unless you are inspired by the Holy Spirit, you cannot take the name Jesus. And the gift of faith is inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's a special gift of the Holy Spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us be more active in the life of Holy Spirit. And let us be close to the heart of Holy Spirit because Holy Spirit is a powerful God and has to be activated and to be related and connected each other every day of our life so that we will be experiencing that power and blessing of the Holy Spirit every day of our life. So my dear brother, let us acknowledge all our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God even perhaps grope and grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, 
We ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art or imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance. a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead when they heard about resurrection of the dead some began to scoff but others said we should like to hear you on this some other time and so Paul left them but some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of Areopagus, and a woman named Demarius, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all the peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of Truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. So my dear people of God, this is a story of relationships, you know. A couple of days this week and even last week, Jesus was going on telling the things about this relationship with me and with the Father and the Holy Spirit finally teach you what is the meaning and the intensity of this relationship. You know, and Human life is also based on relationship, you know. Everything is on relationship. You know, what is, what is a rejection? Rejection is a fear and scaredness that I may lose my relationship. Okay, we, we tell some people, oh, he is very fearful. Okay, we are always scared. What does it mean? Scared. I'm scared and fearful. The reason for my fear is that I may lose something in my life. I may lose some relationship. I may lose my parents. I may lose my siblings. 
and I may lose my children and they rejected me this is the reason of my rejection so my dear brothers and sisters every fear originated from rejection fear of rejection in the same way relationship is very important in human life as well as in the life of Jesus and Jesus is going on telling this is me and my father relation I am doing what his will is and he will glorify in my life so that you will be glorified in your life because we are all in relationship so my dear people of God what I want to tell you this is the time to receive Holy Spirit Holy Spirit is a God of relationship and God is the Holy Spirit becomes activated in your life in my life when we are connected with the Holy Spirit otherwise Holy Spirit is dead that is what even in the history of the Catholic Church we so-called dark ages in the church what does it mean means the church is not related with the Holy Spirit so that the church has become dark people has lived in darkness because Holy Spirit was dead not activated in the people of God so my dear brothers and sisters we have to activate the work of the Holy Spirit in everybody's life you and me personally because Holy Spirit is a God of personal life it is not a common God or collective God for everyone no Holy Spirit is a God for each one of us individually and it has to be activated and the Holy Spirit has to be activated in each one of us personally we need a relationship with the Holy Spirit and we must keep up that relationship every day every moment of our life powerful God and gracious God and you must be able to experience as a partner in your life Holy Spirit and he will do everything for you so my dear people of God let us be like children take a paper small piece of paper and take your pencil and write something about the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit I love you and keep inside your Bible or somewhere in the book I assure you that that day will be a great day for your personal life because Holy Spirit can never forget your recollecting memory of him and remembrance of his life so my dear brothers and sisters let us be like children in relationship write something and have a memory of Holy Spirit inside your personal life keep up that relationship I'm sure Holy Spirit will be activated and a powerful experience in your life of faith and he will guide your steps that is what Jesus told his disciples when he comes he will teach you everything that you not understand and it was the experience for all the disciples they never understood the mysteries Jesus taught them but when the Holy Spirit came to their life they kept up that relationship personally with the Holy Spirit they their life was changed and they became miraculous and wonderful people in the sight of faithful so my dear brothers and sisters let us take up this task today and this week and by the reception of the Holy Spirit till then let us wait and start our relationship a personal intimacy and connectedness relatedness with this personal God powerful and a gracious God that is Holy Spirit in our life amen
prior to St. Joseph, to you, our blessed Joseph, we have recourse in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we now, with hearts filled with confidence, earnestly beg you to take us under your protection. Through the sacred bond of charity, which united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and by that fatherly love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance, Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength. Defend, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Keep from us, most loving Father, all blight of error and corruption. Aid us from our high, most valiant defender in this conflict with the powers of darkness. Just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and strengthened by your help, we may be able to live a virtuous life, die a happy death, and obtain everlasting bliss in heaven. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Mixing of this water and wine and bring us to spiritual drink. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash me from all my iniquities, bless my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, God, who by the wondrous exchange effected in this sacrifice hath made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but above all to load you, yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our deaths, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praises, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing to the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the bishops and clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may pray, we may merit to be quiet to be eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, you take away the sins of the world. Have 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord. The body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life. your name, Jesus. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth to the masses and go in peace to serve and love the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia.